The PSLR result have just released, and in our previous video, we have discussed the strategies when it comes to choosing secondary school. And for this video today, I'd like to go into more detail about choosing secondary school if you have received AL4 to AL7 within this range. Let us first come back to this PSLA cutoff point table from our previous video. And since now we are talking about AL4 to AL7, then IP programs, the first eight IP programs, should be something that we're all after. So let us focus on that. So over here, we have the first eight IP programs. And we can see that their cutoff point are all centered around 4 to 6 and 4 to 7. Now, what are the main differences between all these eight IP programs? And the answer is the final certification. So over here, we can see that except ACS and MGS, all the other secondary schools, they will do the A-level exam at the end of the course. However, for ACS and MGS, instead of air level exam, they will do IB diploma. So that's a different certification. Now, what are the differences between them? Let us have a look. So for IP diploma, the curriculum is more comprehensive and well-rounded. The six subjects that you will choose will be from languages, science, humanities, and arts. While for air level, it is more subject focused so that students can choose specific subjects of their interest. And then the assessment of IB diploma, it will contain coursework, exams, and internal assessment, including like community services and essays writing. While for A level, then there will be just a final written exams at the end of the course. And coming back to IP diploma, the course load, like we just mentioned, is six subjects, containing three subjects at the higher level, and that is mandatory, and three at the standard level. While for A level, it is only three to four subjects. And so, so what, does, what students are more suitable for IP diploma, and what students are more suitable for A level? Well, here's a quick way for you to decide. If you're a student that you still want to maintain a breath in your choice of subjects, and you're more dedicated yourself into a structured environment, a structured learning environment, and you're open to addressing those areas that you are weaker, then IP diploma could be something for you. And for air level, it is more suitable for students that have a stronger focus on a specific subject and they want to capitalize their strength. However, this will require a, a stronger self-discipline because the coursework is more flexible. So in a nutshell, it really depends on the background of the students and your personal goals. And if you'd like to learn more about the IP diploma and GCE Air level, the differences between them as well as the details, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as we will cover them in the next video. Now, moving on, let us have a look at the junior college correspond to all the secondary schools that we have just mentioned. And over here, we can see that the Raffles Institution and the Raffles Girls School, once they enter year 11 and year 12, they will go into the junior college, Raffles Institution. And the same goes to the other schools as well. So over here, we get all the junior college, and over here, they are the corresponding secondary school. So from here, we can see that out of the two IB secondary schools and six A-level secondary schools, these two combine into one junior college and these six combine into four junior college. So, if you want to choose an IB diploma, then your only options for your secondary school will be MGS or ACS. There is no other choices. However, if you are looking for the A-level exam, then you can do a quick comparison between the four junior colleges. So let us have a look into that. Over here, I have collected the past A-level result of the four A-level junior college. We have Raffle Institution, Hua Zhong Institution, Unowa Junior College, and National Junior College. And over here, these are the results from 2021, and here are the results from 2022. 
we have the mean, the median, the percentage of getting 90 RP, which means full marks in the air level, and the percentage of getting 80, 85 RP to 90 RP. So, if you do a quick comparison between Raffles and Hua Zhong and the remaining two junior colleges, you can see that just from the mean and the, and the median, and as well as the percentage of the full mark, the full mark students, there is quite a significant difference. So this means that if you have the opportunity to go for Raffles Institution or Huato Institution, that you shouldn't waste those opportunities. You should rank them highest in your choice order. So with that being said, let us come back to this table over here. So if you're aiming for Raffles Institution Junior College, then this will be the secondary schools that you are focusing on. And if you are looking for Hua Zhong Institution Junior College, then this will be the secondary school that you'll be focusing on depending whether you are boy students or girl students. So to put it in a nutshell, if you are not choosing IB Diploma, if you want to go for air level, then for those students getting AL 6 to 7, we will recommend these two schools for you. While for those students getting AL 4 to 5, these are the secondary school that we will recommend for you. And if you'd like to learn more about a PSLE and choosing secondary school, make sure you scan this QR code to join our PSLE 2024 study group. Now that's it for today, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.